Hello and welcome to Negative Feedback. Today I'm joined with Harry. Hey, I'm a portrait photographer. Uh, I shoot lots of stuff here in my home slash studio thing with my friends. We're gonna have a bit of fun today, aren't we? Yeah, so we're gonna shoot some kind of portrait studio stuff on film, which is different to what you normally do. Yeah, I don't usually shoot on film, I usually shoot on digital commercial work, so it's gonna be nice to see what it looks like. This is my backdrop system. Usually, back in the day, didn't we, George? We just used to shoot straight onto the wall, which we probably will today. But this one, you can also just wheel it down. And you've got a nice backdrop. And we've moved all the stuff to the side of the room so we can use the floor as well and get full length shots if we need it. Um, I think we can use a combination of the two. We are shooting on a bit of a mixture of cameras. Um, I guess the main limiting factor is that we only have a hot shoe sink for the flash. Mm. So we can't use a sync cable with some of the other cameras we have. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money for a light meter, but we do have a Leica Q. So, um, <laughs> well, we're... It's a posh man's light meter, what can I say? Yeah. Essentially, we'll just shoot until we get the right settings on that and then copy the settings over to one of the film cameras. The type of film we're going to be shooting, so the Mamiya 7 is already loaded with Portra 160 and the same in the Leica M6. This is my light, one of my lights. This is a quite a low power light, it's only 250. Um, usually if you're shooting kind of big commercial stuff with lots of groups, uh, you want something like maybe a thousands or, or, or that kind of powerful just so you kind of cover everyone. But because we're doing some quite small, chilled out stuff, this, is, this should do the job. Um, this is the strobe ring here. It, this, if, if we were to flash this right now, it would just blow out across the whole room and it'd be kind of really, you know this kind of um, Terry Richardson, shots that you get sometimes, they're kind of really, really kind of powerful and harsh, that's what you get. We're gonna use that and also a beauty dish today. It basically, all it does is, is the light pops through there, through there, it bounces off this dish and in, uh, into this one, and then gives like a nice even coverage of light. Hey, how's it going, man? Nice to see you, man. Okay, so Ari has arrived, one of our friends, and he is gonna be our model slash camera assistant, holding some lights, being in the pictures, doing it all really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what links the camera to that, which we can put on, which we'll put on the uh, on the film camera if it has a hot shoe, and that'll make sure that um, the flash goes off at the same time. So the first camera we're gonna shoot is the Leica M6 with a 50mm. Um, so we just need to copy over the settings from the Leica Q, um, and put the hot shoe reader on it, and then it's all good to go. If you come around here, Louis, so you can tell if a light is hitting you by whether that um, spot is kind of going to be hitting your head or wherever you want the light to focus on. Um, and so at the moment, that's going to be quite front on, um, and that's good for my jawline because it'll make a nice little shadow around there. If you want it to be a bit more moody, then you'd put it to the side. If you want it to be a bit more kind of lofty and kind of angelic, then you would bring it over me like that. So I'm gonna take the first photo of Harry now. Uh, fingers crossed that it actually works. Straight down the lens. It works. <laughs> I like shooting film in a studio because I don't like showing people the work until it's done, um, especially digital work. It never looks quite like how I want it to look until I've edited it, mainly just the colours really. Trying to get the subject not to look at the image can be difficult at times and when it's just you and film, there's nothing they can look at, you just work with you and the person. It's problematic though when you're doing commercial stuff. When you've got like an art director or a, um, or a commissioning editor or something like a photo commissioner or a photo editor, they're always kind of over your shoulder and yeah. they, they have to see it, you know. So, so it's one of those things that with film, if they trust you as a photographer, that's great. But for me, I think it's, you know, you need to, you need to give them a look. And the best way to do that is just to have a little kind of preset set up on your yeah. tethering software. So that when the pictures are firing through, you still get it. Or better still, 
and then some to use film, and then you have to worry about any of that shit. Earlier on the train, an idea came to me. I basically just thought of a setup I'd like to shoot, so we're gonna try and shoot that now. It's a bit mucky. Here's the cru crucial thing about getting your people to do stuff for you, i.e. models to get them to pose for you. You gotta get in there and do it with them. You know, that, that. another model. So we're going to switch over to the Mamiya 7 now. Uh, it's kind of cool to do a comparison I guess on what 120 looks like compared to 35. So I'm switching up now to the Metz 45 CL, uh, which is an on-camera like hammerhead flash, uh, just because we've got a few shots left and it'd be nice to try something else and compare it. Mm -hmm. 